Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at these Kelty Love Seat Camp Chairs. Uh, you can see these are two different styles, uh, so we, we're going to go over some of the similarities, some of the differences, to make sure you're getting the right one for you. Now these uh, represent two of the possible colors that we have. Uh, this is the light brown and dark brown combo. This is the teal and brown combo, so uh, be sure that you're getting the color that matches your color sense. Uh, but both these camp chairs are going to be the love seat style, so they're going to allow two adults to sit side by side, so it's gonna be great for those romantic evenings by the fireside, or if you're going to a sports match or something like that, you wanna sit close to each other rather than in separate chairs, these are gonna be great for that. Uh, both Chairs have these steel frames, so they are gonna have a max weight capacity of 400 pounds. I'm a pretty big guy, about six foot three and close to 280 most days before the holidays. Uh, so I'm probably not gonna be able to have another full-size adult sitting here with me, but it might be great for uh, cooking s'mores with my kids by the campfire or something like that. Uh, so we can be close together, I can help them with their stick. Uh, instead of being in separate chairs. So uh, keep that in mind, that 400 pound weight capacity for both. These do have a lot of similarities, but obviously the biggest difference between them is going to be the height. So this chair here is probably what you're more used to with a camping chair as far as the height goes. Uh, so it's not like super easy to get up out of, uh, but it is fairly uh, tall, so you can uh, get up uh, as you need to. This one, so this is our 19 inch tall seat. This is a 13 and a half inch tall seat. So that five and a half inch difference doesn't sound like a lot, but when you actually go to sit in it, you feel like you're going down forever. So uh, this is definitely a much lower uh, chair height. The reason they have this option available is so that you can be closer to your campfire, get that warmth or if you're gonna be at an outdoor event where you wanna be seated, seated lower so that others can see over you easier. Uh, this also has a more reclined back to it. So in my mind, this is a much more comfortable chair than that one. I like being reclined. Uh, definitely when I get in a car, I lean the seat back a little bit. So this is uh, more comfortable for me sitting in. I don't feel like the pressure points are uh, cutting into my legs like with most camp chairs. Uh, so this is definitely gonna be my preference as far as comfort, but it is extremely low. So if you have problems getting up out of chairs, this is gonna be a struggle for you. Like I said, I'm a big guy, so I've kinda gotta cross my legs there uh, to get up out of it. Whereas this one, it's easier to get into, but it does have that straight up back. So uh, it does make you feel like you're sitting up a little bit straighter. Uh, these um, pressure points do feel like they're uh, more uh, firm on my legs. Uh, so in my mind, not as comfortable, but definitely if height, uh, getting up out of the chair is a very important issue for you, this would definitely be the way to go. So both seats are going to fold up very easily. So if I uh, pull this one forward, you can see, just grab the opposite ends, fold it up like you're used to with just about any camp chair. Uh, one of the main differences with the Kelty style is that they have this pocket down here at the bottom. That is going to be where we put our feet. So after it's folded up, we'll slide our feet in there. So this is going to be a lot more convenient than the typical uh, chair cover, which you have kind of like a long version of that. So you have to kind of shimmy your chair into. I think we've all dealt with that and the difficulties that it presents. And then this has these buckles that are adjustable, so we can slide these along the strip here and then buckle it in place like so. We'll just go down the chair and buckle those in. So it is gonna be a little bit easier than trying to shimmy the chair into that typical camp chair sleeve. And then we've got handles on both ends. So you can see it's gonna be very easy to carry like this, or we also have the shoulder strap. So if we're gonna be uh, traveling a little bit from the parking lot to our destination, 
Uh, we can easily sling this over our shoulder, and it's got a padded uh, portion there, so it's gonna feel more comfortable on your shoulder. When you get to where you're going, very easily, just unbuckle those snaps there, or unsnap the buckles, and then we can pull that out and set it up. Now these sleeves are padded, so they do say that you could use this as uh, like a, a uh, foot floor mat or a pet mat. If you wanna provide a more comfortable spot for your pets to lay in, it does have a little bit of padding there and it does lay flat like that, so you could use it for that. Uh, both these chairs are also going to have adjustable arms. So if I pull this one over this time, you can see on the back side here, we've got this buckle that we can pull up and that's going to allow the arm to lower or if we pull that strip through, it's going to raise that arm and then kind of lock it in place. Uh, so we're gonna have a nice adjustability there, set that arm where it's gonna be most comfortable for us and have a nice support. Uh, both arms are also going to have these cup holders. So these are somewhat insulated around the edges here, so it's gonna help keep your warm drinks warm and your cool drinks cool. Uh, they have this adjustable sleeve, and so if you've got a, a larger item, you can put that in there in the center, or if you've got a couple bottles or something like that, you can divide it up so you can fit more in there. The bottom does have that mesh opening, so condensation isn't gonna build up on the bottom of your pocket. And I am gonna kind of bring these out in the profile so you can kind of see that reclined back that I was talking about uh, versus the more straight up and down back that we have on this one. Uh, so again, make sure that you're getting the right one for you. This is definitely gonna be easier to get up out of, but you are gonna be sitting more uh, straight up. This one is a little bit more comfortable to sit in, in my mind. Uh, but it is gonna be very, very low, so it can be difficult to get up out of. And like I said, we do have other color options available, uh, so if neither of these really fit your color sense, be sure to check out some of those other options. I hope this video has been helpful for you in determining which of these two loveseat camp chairs is gonna be better for you, uh, whether the 13 and a half inch tall chair or the 19 inch tall chair uh, both are great options, in my opinion, for those of you who want to sit close to a loved one or uh, just another person that you enjoy spending time with. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.